hello, hello. So today, we're gonna talk about network marketing. And I love network marketing. I think network marketing is a really good way to have a business, especially for those of you who don't want to have a brick and mortar business or don't want to have a big business, like something like I have. Like it's an easy way to have your own business. And when you do network marketing, they do a lot of the work for you. So it's awesome. So let's talk about mistakes that we make as network marketers. And I've done a lot of network marketing companies just because I love, honestly, the discounts, the wholesale. And I love to offer it to my clients because I own a holistic wellness studio. And a lot of the products do my clients well. And, and I wanna offer different things to them. So yeah, I've done some of these things. So let's talk about it. Number one, not educating your clients, guys. You need to educate your clients. You can't sell a product by just posting things about a sale or about your product without actually educating them. So when I say that, I mean if you're selling a pro weight loss product, come and talk about your product. Talk about the ingredients in your product. Talk about what your product is doing for people. Educate people on the product and the outcome so that people ask you, what is this product, you know? So education is key. Educate, educate, educate. And that goes for any business because if you're not teaching people why it's so important for them to get your service or, or get your product, where are they gonna purchase it from you in the first place? So educating. Another thing I see is I see people not being authentic, okay? Not being themselves, being fake. You know, I see this a lot on social media and it's really sad um, because why are you gonna struggle and try so hard to be someone you're not? Because people can tell when you do that. So be yourself, be authentic. Talk about what you believe in and what you don't believe in. Be true so that people know you're a real person and that you have real problems and you have a real life just like them. Don't always just post the fake pretty little pictures. Real things happen to all of us. Sad things and devastating things happen to all of us. So be authentic, guys. My next one, my third one which is a big mistake and it irritates me so bad. Spamming people. Especially if you don't know me. If you don't know me and know my problem, do not send me information asking me how much I wanna try your product. Or between one and 10, how much do I think I'm gonna join your company? Or, we should really work together and you should sell this product. It would really, really do you great. But they don't even know me or know what my issue is or know what my problem is. It might not be my ideal product. I might not be their ideal client and that is called spamming. And that frustrates me and it gives network marketing a bad name and of course, in network marketing, we all wanna make sales because that's our business. And I think it's really important to buy from network marketers. And I think it's really important to buy local and to purchase your gifts and things from people who have small businesses, so important. But as a network marketer, don't spam people. If you're serving people and you're giving education and you're teaching, they're gonna to come to you, okay? So that leads me to the hey girl message. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I hate when I get a message in my messenger that's like, hey girl, how are you? Hey, have you looked at this product? Hey girl, do you know how this would benefit you? Hey girl, I've been watching you and I think you would be great on my team because of this, this, and this. And it they don't know me. It doesn't go Sorry, my dog's walking around and she just had surgery. Um, it doesn't go with who I am. So don't send me a hey girl message. No, 
No. How about always posting sales pages and pictures of your product? I've done this before. I've done this before. Mm. It feels spammy. It's spammy. Now I do sometimes send my ideal clients and clients that are interested um, sale, sales, like tell them that this product's on sale and they like that. But how about you educate and then you say, hey, if you're really interested in this product on sale, reach out to me, instead of just posting a sale page because that looks spammy. Um, how about not telling your story? Not telling your story. I see that all the time. It's really important to tell your story. Number one, tell your story and how the products helped you, what pain points you had and how it's helping you and how it is helping others. Tell your story. There's a story to everybody. Everybody has a story on why they started using a product or why they started a business. Tell your story. Stories are key. People love, love, love stories. Um, and the other thing is, Teach your client how you can fix their problem. So turn your story into helping them fix their problem so they have a story to tell as well. So finding your ideal client's pain points and then teaching them and talking about how you can alleviate those pain points and fix those problems, how you have a solution. So it's finding the pain points and then showing the solution. Attraction marketing. This is a good one. Attraction marketing is good. It's key. It's wonderful. It doesn't look spammy. And what is attraction marketing? It's telling your story. Really? It's telling your story. I did some attraction marketing not that long ago. I had a spoonful of my product. I didn't tell what my product was. I just said, hey, I'm trying this amazing product. It's supposed to do this, this, and this. Stay tuned. And I got so many people asking me, like, what is this? So I messaged them. Um, telling a story about how, wow, I'm doing really good. I've lost three inches. And I'm telling my story. This is something that happened to me. And then people message me and they're like, hey, can you tell me about this? That's attraction marketing. Attraction marketing looks good. I mean, it works well. If it's a product that you use and that you genuinely believe in, attraction marketing is easy because it's something you're using and you're talking about and you're excited to share with others. So it is an easy thing to do attraction marketing on. So make sure your product is authentic and key and, it's what, and it is your product, something you truly believe in. So let's see now, finding the problem also leads to emotion. Women, especially, purchase products from emotion, from feelings. They want you, they have feelings, and then they want you to be to solve their problem. So it comes from feelings, it comes from emotion. You need to, you need to hit their emotional spots and then teach them how you can fix that, how you can make them happy, how you can change things. And then the last thing, the last thing that I see people doing, I see them treat, I mean, if you really want to make this work, if you really want network marketing to work, you can't treat it like a hobby. You have to treat it like a business. And owning a business is hard and it takes consistency and it's work. And, and, People are gonna tell you no. They're gonna tell you no. And you're gonna feel like you failed. And you need to get used to that and you need to get over it. Get over it, keep going. Because they're not your ideal client. And you know what, they might be your ideal client on the road. They might just be saying no right now and who cares? I have people tell me no all the time in my wellness studio. And maybe the next time they come in, they buy my skincare line. They love my facials. They love the way their skin feels. They're buying other crap out there. So the next time they come in, they're like, oh my gosh, I'm just gonna buy it this time. It's okay for people to say no. And if you accept that and say, great, that's fine. It's not a big deal. If you accept it and say, not a big deal, reach out if you have any more questions, I'm here for you. And you keep talking about this thing you love 
if they are your ideal client, they will come back to you. And if they're not, then you don't need them as your client. Not everybody is your ideal client. You have to get used to rejection. You have to get used to people saying no. You have to get used to failure, learning from it, and getting back up again. Or you're never gonna succeed. Because if you can't get used to this, then your mindset goes to crap, you get exhausted, you get worn out, and you give up, okay? So, let's go over these real quick again, real fast, real fast. Not educating your clients, not being authentic, spamming people, hey girl and people, always posting sales pages and pictures of your product, not telling your story, not using attraction marketing, not teaching your customer how you can fix their pain points, not finding their emotions and working with them, and not treating it like a business, but instead treating it like a hobby. Those are mistakes made by network marketers, and they are the reasons that network marketing fails and things that you used to be to do a long time ago, like the hey girls and the cold calling, you can't do that anymore. People hate it. They hate it. You have to make relationships with people. Talk to people. Have them trust you. Do live videos. Talk about your product. Educate people so that they know you, see you, and trust you. And then they will purchase your product, guys then you will make it in network marketing. All right, I hope you enjoyed this.